inspiring news uh, you are finally going to come up with your debut album after being in the industry for so long almost uh, four decades so yeah. tell me why did you choose now you know it's i'm not you know the artists are doing all the work i mean i'm more of like the curator of these songs i wrote the songs and it's not me singing them or anything it's really great singers singing them i just thought it was a really great way to to get these songs heard and you know dj's do this dj's and producers do this mark ronson yeah. does that calvin harris all these people like that and um i thought you know what a songwriter really hasn't done it and i thought why not me you know and, and i went for it <laughs> right but uh, i remember you had posted uh, a video of yourself on instagram uh, singing times like this yeah so, yeah <laughs> is there a singer and you hidden somewhere no not a very good one it's better way better to hear <laughs> like Darius Rucker sounds a lot better than me okay so lots of singers are there like uh, John Legend Celine Dion so tell me how did you choose all these singers for specific songs for your upcoming album it was like it's like casting a role in a movie you know um so the you know it's like it's like who's the perfect artist for this song so like john legend he re- he recorded that song about you know 6 years ago and i always loved it and he he kept saying he was going to use it and he didn't use it and i kept giving it to other people that he wanted back and and i'm like i love this song so much i want to almost build a record around that so i had that record i had another song you know i was thinking of and then i had some great new songs and so i went to different artists and you know and it's changing a lot because i i have probably like seven songs i know are on this record i keep writing new ones i go well let me give that to so and so let me give that to this person so it's it's been really good it's i just did a song with santana i'm not sure who's going to sing that yet but i'm really excited about that mm-hmm. right and um there was one photo of you uh, with another artist and you had asked your fans on instagram to guess who the artist was I suppose that's AJ from the Backstreet Boys, is that it? Yes, it was AJ. I just did, yeah, it was AJ. Um, so, is he the only one singing all Backstreet Boys members uh, have recorded the well, song? Well, I'm not supposed to talk about it till, till it comes <laughs> out, but, but there might be more than one <laughs> Backstreet Boys. You know? I mean, it's, I think it's really exciting because uh, you've, collaborated with NSync and Britney Spears, Christina yeah. Aguilera, but not Backstreet Boys in the past. And in this debut album of yours, we're going to see them uh, with you. That's going to be exciting. Yeah, I mean, they're not on my album yet, but I would, I, I'd do a song with them for that. You know, I think they're great, mm-hmm. you know. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right right okay so what else can you tell me about the album uh, something that we don't know already um i don't know what you wouldn't know about it um i mean i don't know i'm 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 very excited about my Darius Rucker song i think you guys should be playing it cuz it's a great song <laughs> in times like this we could all use an angel um and i think <laughs> times like this around the world we all need an angel you know we mm-hmm. all to be kind to mm-hmm. each other and you know be each other's angels really so yeah i don't know what else to tell you about the album but it's going to be great how about that it's going to be great looking forward to it 2021 yeah <laughs> right mm-hmm. right okay so you know if we talk about your collaborators uh, you've you know um, written songs for some of the most popular singers be it in the 90s or 2000s the youngsters yeah. uh, rita ora justin bieber demi yeah. lovato Yeah. So tell me working with uh, someone in the 20s how different is it the entire experience I mean I'm still working I just think of I'm working with another singer right it's just it's it's you know no different I mean our great artists are great artists whether they're 20 or whether they're 40 or whether whatever you know I love working with with upcoming and new artists so it keeps it fun and fresh Mhm right so. anyone difficult to work with anyone what that I want to work Diffic- with difficult to work with yeah but I wouldn't talk about it here cuz I might have to <laughs> I might have to work with them again so I don't you know. but some of them some of them are difficult some most people are pretty cool though most people are cool okay right so um is there any particular artist that you're dying to work with no 
I mean, I'm working with some of the best artists in the world right now. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not, there's not one in particular, but I just want to keep, you know, hearing people I love and keep working with them. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so this year was really busy for you, apart from the album. You had also um, worked on the change for a political campaign. So tell me, how yeah. did that happen? Yeah, I mean, the change, um, which is sung by Jojo, it's not a political song, but the mm -hmm. Biden campaign, um, they used it, they, they adopted it as their theme song. So I was really honored at that. And mm -hmm. it's just a really great song. And I'd love to see an Indian version of that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be awesome. Yeah, it would be I'm, putting it, I'm putting it out there. Make it happen. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, I'll need to be the change. <laughs> right, oh, beautiful lyrics. Um, yeah. Okay, and uh, uh, apart from that, uh, there were a few movies also for Disney Plus as well as uh, Netflix. And, yeah. uh, and of course, you have written for over 100 films. So tell me about uh, the process of writing songs for films. How different is that? Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's all about writing a great song, you know, whether it's for a movie or just writing a song like on my own, it comes down to write like a perfect song. You want that song to be right for that movie. Like I wrote, um, a song, I wrote Free, the Charlie Puth sings and um, yes. One and Only yeah. Ivan. That's one of my favorite songs I've ever written in my life and probably my favorite movie song. And I'm really proud of it. And you know, I wrote it for, you know, for the movie, I wrote it to be like a theme song for animals because I love animals and I'm a big animal activist. And then I did the song, you know, for the Sophia Loren movie, The Life Ahead, and which is a fanta another fantastic movie. I got lucky that I got to write for some great movies. And Laura Pausini, who's an amazing singer, we had talked about working together, you know, for years and just never did. And this, this opportunity came when I wrote the song, I, I thought, you know, we need the best singer in Italy to do it, and she did it. And the movie's a hit everywhere. It's probably a hit in Italy and in, um, in, in India right now. You know, it's a beautiful mm -hmm. movie. Have you seen it? Not yet, not yet. It's, it's really on great. streaming platform. Yeah, yeah. Really With great. Jess. And and the one and only Ivan that I did my Charlie Puth song free. Watch that. Yeah. Too. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Right, right, sure, sure. Okay, so talking about movies, uh, Whitney Houston's biopic is in the works. Yeah. So, is there any song that uh, you will be contributing to the film? Since you I'm, not sure the song. I'm sure I'll have songs in there because I wrote a lot of songs for her. But I don't, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I don't know I, what else new. But if they asked me to do something, I would. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, uh, what about uh, awards? <laughs> you know, you have won Grammy, Emmy, Golden Globe, Not and then Oscar. when it comes to Oscar, 11 nominations, but no win. I know, I'm an 11 time loser, I know. Um, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to change that, I'm, I'm trying again this year, you know, maybe I'll get lucky this year. You know, I just, I love being nominated, it's, it's a serious honor, there's only five songs chosen every year for the yes. awards. So mm. every song that gets nominated is basically winning. But I would mm. love to really win for real, so. <laughs> right, so do you go with the, your own speech when you attend a, an Oscar ceremony? Yeah, I've thrown a lot of them out. They've crumpled in my hands and gone in my pocket. A lot of times, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, okay. Right, okay, so uh, that's in the past and I really hope that uh, next year you do uh, win an Oscar. Thank you, but, I do too. <laughs> but I hope, uh, okay, now looking back at 22, now that it's almost over, December, half of it is gone. So how do you really look back? What's the biggest lesson that you learned from 2020? Um, that you can't plan anything. You know, that's what I think we all learned that, you know, that, you know, there's your plan and then there's God's plan, and there's life's plan, you know, and, you know, we're in a really difficult time for a lot of people um, and mm -hmm. just hope it gets better for, for everybody. And for me, I've had like a good year, you know, like I've just been writing songs and just doing what I do because I normally just sit in a room by myself anyways. So the social distancing was very easy for me. <laughs> Do in, in general, mm -hmm. you know, but mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, look, there's a new year coming in a couple of weeks. I just did a song for Ringo Starr. I'm so excited oh, for yeah. you to hear Paul McCartney's on it. 
Chris wow. Davis is on it, um, Lenny Kravitz, um, Dave Grohl, um, Joe mm -hmm. Walsh, all, all kinds of amazing, you know, artists okay. are on, on, on my song. And the video comes out Friday and I'm so excited. I can't wait till you wow. guys. Wow, wow. So tell me about it. Tell me about it. Uh, what's it called and what's the song all about? It's called Here's to the Nights. And the idea is Here's to the Nights We Won't Remember with the Friends We Won't Forget. And it's like this just this anthem. And, and it's so important, I think, right now for us because, you know, that like we can't really be with our friends. So here's a song about really celebrating that. And mm -hmm. um, Ringo asked me for a song and I'd worked with him before and I thought, you know what? I think this song could be so great. And what if we got his friends and got some new friends and just got everybody to sing along? And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, Paul McCartney? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? And he's the first one that said yes to Ringo. And, and all of a sudden, all these other So that's great. And anything else you'd like to add? 2021 album is coming up. Um, yeah, it, in next year, probably the second half of the year, that record will be out. And I hope you guys all buy it. There's going to be a lot of songs coming before that, um, a lot of singles. And I hope you guys enjoy everything. I hope you enjoy the first single, Times Like This by Darius Rucker. And I hope mm. you enjoy the Ringo Starr record, which isn't on my record, but it's on his record, um, which is called Here's to the Nights. Um, yeah, and do an Indian version of The Change. That'd be awesome. Look forward to it. I hope someone actually does that. <laughs> I do too. Well, it's good talking to you and stay Great. safe out there. Thank and you so much for connecting. All right. All right. Stay Bye. safe. Bye.